Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to bathe a hamster. So what you're going to need is you're going to get into to go in your bathroom and get um, to your sink. And you're going to want to fill it up with some water. Hamsters are small, so you don't need to put that much water. I have about an inch or almost an inch of water. And it's lukewarm water, so not too hot and not too cold. Next, you're going to need a towel. So I just have my towel right here. Um, so this is so you can dry them off after. And yeah, so once you have both of these uh, things, you could use some soap. So I just have this soap. Or if you have some hamster soap or anything soap that's um, safe for hamsters. So you'll need that. Just ignore that. Um, and yeah, so when you have your little area set up, another option you could use is a toothbrush to um, scrub your hamster with when they're in the bath. So, let's go get my hamster. So, I have my hamster right here. Also, I just want to say, treats are a very good option. So, I just have these Gerber Puffs, banana flavored, and my hamster loves them. So what I like to do is just take a couple of them, not too many, and just put them on this tray like so. Um, so let's get one to my hamster right now. Uh, he's being very silly. Okay, come on. Here's a treat. You don't want it? Okay, he doesn't want it. That's fine. You could just have some more treats later. So, next thing you're gonna wanna do is pick up your hamster and put them in the bath. Wait, 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 hold it. Did, were you actually gonna put your hamster in the bath? Never put your hamster in water. It is very, very bad for them. Let's see the rest of the video. So now, let's learn how to properly bathe our little furry friends. Isn't that right? So, as we all know, we cannot bathe our hamsters in water. It is very bad for their coats, and hamsters can get sick very easily because they don't dry quickly at all. So that's why you want to never, ever bathe your hamster in water. But what we can bathe our hamsters in is sand baths. So this is a sand bath. It's basically a container with some sand in it. You could use reptile sand. Um, you can use children's play sand. You can use chinchilla bath sand. Just make sure it's not chinchilla bath dust because dust is like a literal dust. So you need sand because hamsters have very sensitive respiratory systems. So. Um, in order for your hamster not to get a respiratory infection, you want to bathe your hamster in sand, um, not dust. So, it's very easy to get sand. You could um, go to your local hardware store and get like a 40 pound bag of children's play sand, which is what this is, for like $10. And that's going to last more than your hamster's whole lifetime. You could also go to your local park. Um, and get some sand there. Just make so. Just make sure when you bring it home to bake it in the oven. Um, I'm not a professional at that because the sand I use comes already like heat treated. Um, so you, if you do buy children's play sand, sometimes it'll come heat treated. But if you're getting it from a park, make sure you bake it in the oven. You can watch other videos on YouTube about that. Um, and you can sift through it. I sift through my sand because. Um, I find it's like makes it softer and better. Um, if you have reptile sand or repti sand, it's gonna be very, very fine, and very, very smooth. So yeah, a lot of people like to mix them because repti sand or reptile sand um, can be very expensive. Um, so people like to mix them. And I'll show you what my sifter looks like. So this is my sifter. I got it from the dollar store for $1. Um, and basically what I do is, um, I'm so happy I bought this because what I do is I just sift through the sand. Um, and then 
all the little rocks just stay in and then you just take that and you just dump into the garbage and then your sand is finer and softer for your hamster so they won't get scratched or anything so i'm going to show you guys pepper he loves his sand bath so i'm going to show you guys pepper in his sand bath playing but before i show you guys that i just i just wanted to say that um most hamsters like to use their sand bath as a toilet so um they like the the pee in the corridors so all i recommend you doing is once every one or two days just take uh, some type of spoon and just scooping out the soil sand and then you could take your sifter and then sift out the poop um, because most hamsters do like to use it as a toilet so here's pepper and there's his sand bath. he really does like it come on buddy dig he might just want to climb out he did wake up just a while ago, so, no, 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 show them how you clean your sand bath. He did wake up just a while ago, so he's probably a bit tired. But come on, buddy. Come on. He, w he just wants to sniff the sifter. Come on, come on in. It's okay. Your sand bath. He like basically what he likes to do is he likes to dig and then to like run. He likes to dig all the side out of the corners and then run in a circle in the whole sand bath. It's it's kind of funny. See, he does that and then he just does a run in circle. You're so cute. So yeah, that is basically uh, Pepper and his sand bath. Obviously, he has a lot more energy when it's like the nighttime. Right now it's about the afternoon, so he doesn't have too, too much energy, but this is the time where I like to hang out with him and watch shows because he's very calm. And I like to let him up for playtime at the night. So yeah, I'll go put him back because maybe he wants to go back to bed or just eat or whatever so yeah that is all about being your hamster i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you didn't make to make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already for more hamster care content and i'll see you guys next time bye